English Story Times, Book 59, Story 12. The Russian woman is protesting the lack of food. Line 1. The woman is angry. The woman is angry. And shouting or yelling something. And shouting or yelling something. The woman is angry and shouting or yelling something. What is the same thing? What is the same thing as shouting? As shouting. What is the same thing as shouting? Well, the woman is angry and shouting or yelling something. Line two. She's wearing a pot on her head. She's wearing a pot on her head. And hitting it with a spoon. And hitting it with a spoon. To protest the shortage. To protest the shortage. Lack or scarcity. Lack or scarcity of food in Russia, of food in Russia. She's wearing a pot on her head and hitting it with a spoon to protest the shortage, lack, or scarcity of food in Russia. What's she wearing, what's she wearing as a hat, as a hat? What's she wearing as a hat? What three words, what are three words to say? What are three words to say? What she is protesting. What she is protesting. What are three words to say what she is protesting? She's wearing a pot on her head and hitting it with a spoon to protest the shortage, lack, or scarcity of food in Russia. Line three, the Russian government, the Russian government always puts its money, always puts its money first in the military, first in the military, and then into the needs of the people, and then into the needs of the people. The Russian government always puts its money first in the military and then into the needs of the people. What was the Russian government's first priority? What was the Russian government's first priority? What was the Russian government's first priority? Well, uh, the Russian government always puts its money first into the military and then into the needs of the people. Line four. The Russian people never had enough. The Russian people never had enough or a sufficient amount of food to eat or a sufficient amount of food to eat. The Russian people never had enough or a sufficient amount of food to eat. When have the Russian people, when have the Russian people had a sufficient amount of food? Had a sufficient amount of food. When have the Russian people had a sufficient amount of food? The Russian people never had enough or a sufficient amount of food to eat. Line five. There were big changes. There were big changes at the time of this picture. At the time of this picture. 
There were big changes at the time of this picture. What was happening, what was happening at the time of this picture in Russia? At the time of this picture in Russia? What was happening at the time of this picture in Russia? There were big changes at the time of this picture. Line six. If she did this 10 years ago, if she did this 10 years ago, she would have been shot. She would have been shot as an enemy of the state, as an enemy of the state. If she did this 10 years ago, she would have been shot as an enemy of the state. What would have happened to her? What would have happened to her? If she did the same thing, if she did the same thing she's doing now, she's doing now, 10 years before this picture was taken, 10 years before this picture was taken. What would have happened to her if she did the same thing she's doing now 10 years before this picture was taken? If she did this 10 years ago, she would have been shot as an enemy of the state. Line 7. We should be thankful. We should be thankful. Grateful or appreciative. Grateful or appreciative that we weren't born in Russia. That we weren't born in Russia. We should be thankful, grateful, or appreciative that we weren't born in Russia. What are three adjectives? What are three adjectives? that we could use to say, that we could use to say how we should feel, how we should feel not be, not being born in Russia, not being born in Russia. What are three adjectives that we could use to say how we should feel not being born in Russia. We should be thankful, grateful, or appreciative that we weren't born in Russia. Line eight. Those people had, those people had, and still have a hard life, and still have a hard life. Those people had, and still have a hard life. What have these people, what have these people had and still have, had and still have? What have these people had and still have? Well, these people had and still have a hard life. Okay, your goal, 37 seconds. The woman is angry and shouting or yelling something. She's wearing a pot on her head and hitting it with a spoon to protest the shortage, lack, or scarcity of food in Russia. The Russian government always puts its money first in the military and then into the needs of the people. The Russian people never had enough or a sufficient amount of food to eat. There were big changes at the time of this picture. If she did this 10 years ago, she would have been shot as an enemy of the state. We should be thankful, grateful, or appreciative that we weren't born in Russia. These people had and still have a hard life.